what's going on guys it's gz welcome to my channel so just wanted to share this with you guys how we roll in our war band doing inferno 3 raids and i will be showing you guys all the monsters of inferno 3 and also the later board of the sardan the final boss how quickly we actually defeats him and keep in mind the purpose of me making this video is to motivate every single person out there who is free to play and mid spend at that if you guys are surrounded around really dedicated players and friends then you can also do this you really don't have to spend thousands of dollars and still able to compete with the really good kill times and here you are seeing the first boss literally his health from 60 million to 30 went down within seconds with our collective damage of course and also i will be showing you guys the profile of each my warband member and friend so you guys would actually believe me that none of them are real actually and surprisingly two of my friends my war band members are actually below combat rating for the final boss but still you guys are going to get impressed how quickly we are going to do that and there goes our second boss and there are a couple of reasons why we are so fast first is we have Buki, a monk who is giving us a lot of attack speed with his sanctuary and with that we have crusader our doc who is giving us the banner to give us critical damage ability and you can see how much we are dealing with that attack speed and critical damage insane that is insane and already the first phase is done the second done and this is the third phase here he's getting bigger again and now he is going to turn into four small version of himself but this is going to be done as well really quickly so as you can see we are so quick here that we actually do not bother about any mechanics as uh, i mean at all and right now we are planning on trying out gauntlet 3 really soon hopefully in this week when we get the time to do it because it is going to require a lot of patience for sure and some trial and error but anyway Hulul, i really don't like this boss because of his ability to clone and he has a lot of caps here otherwise he would die really fast you guys are going to be surprised here how much health we are going to take down from him he is literally going to die here but survive because of that health cap now here this is the first phase the clone and look at the health there look at that still going down until 238k and nope he cannot die we tried he cannot die otherwise the battle would have had ended there right away that would have been awesome i mean if you have the damage then why not just end him there i would love to see that but anyways he came back with the five million health again and it was nothing for us but the good thing is he still has 200k health here but he is still going to do his clone ability anyways and i died cannot do anything about it because my pals there they hit really hard they destroyed my butt within seconds so i knew that it I, I knew that there was no point running away because they were going to literally put me down there so i saved them some time and this boss here you guys are going to be surprised how quickly we actually take Yamnal. this boss looks really cool and one of our friend warband member was actually afk i think that's why we didn't skip it right away but look at that 
he's still riding his mount there and we won't let him come off of that and he's done no mechanics nothing done so that's how fast we are and you guys can be as well if you synergize your builds with one another and here you have to make sure that you get you are close to one another before you actually trigger the cutscene and once the cutscene is appearing make sure that you skip it as quickly as possible if you want to make it time and uh, look at that look at the health there we are using our ultimate here with everything we got and our main goal was here to prevent him from using his mechanic and we were 100 percent succeeded here he didn't do any charge effect and the final phase normally looks uh difficult but here you guys are going to be surprised how easy it was with our damage and this cutscene is giving us time to get back our skills and destroy his butt with full damage and there we go this is how we roll in warband this this is what my warband looks like my friends are crazy about diablo and the warband and i just love that look at the time 46 second and the other two are are, are at also at 46 second <laughs> and now let me show you guys my warband and everyone so risha here is the leader of the warband and she has the highest resonance right now in warband with 3177 and that is not that insane then here comes me 2781 with of course a lot of combat rating you can tell uh, because of my gear and upgrades so you can say that i'm quite pumped up there with all those upgrades then Zeon here he's really good 26,270 resonance 24,000 almost 25,000 uh 2,500 I mean not 25,000 that would be insane I would have been asking him to share some with me then but anyways Buki he's insane his buffs are really great you can see he was below the combat rating requirement for the final boss and still we manage it with 46 second and combat and the resonance only 2000 then badge here he is great not insane co uh, resonance there but he does a lot of damage and look at the combat rating we would I mean we could have gone even crazier if both of these guys has the requirement combat rating but still we destroyed it then less combat rating again but 1700 resonance and he's doing fantastic job and look at the upgrades not crazy like mine but fantastic job there then Lana here 26,400 combat rating roughly 2,600 resonance and then another demon hunter 1,500 resonance and 2,500 combat rating so as you can see most of us had actually less combat rating and we were still able to destroy it those raid bosses like it was nothing and none of us are actually big spender and we don't spend much and we are doing it so just wanted to motivate you guys that when you have great friends around you who are really dedicated with the war bands and love playing diablo immortal these kind of stuff happen and it's just more fun playing game 
that way and hope you guys find this video useful and yeah that's it for the video and i'll see you guys in my next one until then take care have fun and bye guys